Welcome back to Final Fantasy X, everybody. We just beat the Spectral Keeper, was that his name? And now we're gonna get a whole bunch of cutscenes. Oh, isn't that pretty? It looks pretty pretty. A city dead for it's kind of, is, is this the first? Was that the first shot that had, that a it was like half in-game graphics, half good graphics? Cause like, I know they use like pre-rendered backgrounds, but it not usually that nice. They're usually like relatively static-y and not great. But that looked like it was actually like the good the FMV graphics. In my story. I don't know. That one it was a pretty. It looked pretty. It looked good. My thoughts they kept floating up and then slipping through my fingers. Yeah, what are you gonna say, Titus? Slipping away before I could pin them down with words. Well, that that sucks. I mean, you're a dream, so do you actually have thoughts, or are they the faith's think, thoughts? No. Do you have free will if you are a dream? If we go down there, I don't know how you know. that works. I don't know how the the everything works there. Kind of opens up a whole host of questions when you think about it. So don't think about it you is basically the, the, re the way to go about it. You, I must go. you must go, but we will save you, maybe. Down to Sanarkand. I'm not saying we shouldn't go. Kind of were, though. But shouldn't we think about it some more? Nah, we thought about it a lot. This is... There's gotta be some kind of way we can save we, you. We've known for a lot of time now. I mean, you knew for the whole time that this would happen. I knew this moment would come. You, need... you know, you didn't know that for your whole life. You knew it from, like, age 10. Rick. That sure is a, a hug, all right. They're, they're kind of hugging, I guess. Don't say that, Uni. It's not over yet. It's true, it's not over yet. This is not the finale. I just want to clarify that. There's, there are a lot of boss fights we gotta do. No. You can tell him yourself. Yeah, you know, tell him yourself. Also, we need the airship to get to Sin, so... So yeah, we're, we're gonna see Sid again. Uni, don't say that because... We're gonna see each other again, okay? It was a weird, a weird time to fade, I think. Let's go. But sure, sure game. We could just... Let's just ignore that. Nah, okay. We'll 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 hit it. We'll touch it. Unlike the other series in the game, it didn't give us a prompt to actually view it. It's just like, yeah, you're gonna view it. This is a long cutscene. This is like also look at that clipping on our, our forearm there. That's really, really bad. So why are you listening to it? Why aren't you gonna watch it? Are you gonna watch it, Titus? It's really weird to, to not watch it, but sure. Sir Oren. Kimari told me. What did Kimari tell you? When my father wanted me taken from Bavel to Besay. That's not Sir Oren. It was you who told Kimari, right? Might have been. I had always wanted to meet you. Someday. Hey, Waka, how you doing? I am truly glad. Do you remember this place? This is chance. the place where the Chocobo Eater was. We was we drove so him off a cliff. Honor. He fell like like the coyote. Thank you. Perhaps if I defeat Sin, Wily Coyote. Be my thanks to you. Like the That's the Roadrunner. Yes. That that guy? Remember that guy? Remember that show? Like, when I used to watch the Looney Tunes cartoons, I was always excited when the Roadrunner ones came on. Those were always my favorite, because they were just the right amount of mayhem. And so am I. And, like, slapstick violence. I suppose. I mean, Bugs Bunny is fun, don't get me wrong, but the Roadrunner and, and Wile E. Coyote were just, just the greatest. I thank you. Kimari. Also, yeah, she's gonna reminisce about like every party member here. Also, I did not know that you could move this. Like, it's very, very slow. This is as fast as you can go. But you can move during this this specific sphere. I don't, and it's not really even the sphere. We're we're not even in the sphere right now. We're just a floating body, I guess. Because Yuna's up on the hill, talking to the sphere. We interrupted her before. I don't know if you remember that. I couldn't sleep. Um, I don't think we can move during other sphere. I've never tried it. I, I just put the controller down usually. But this one seemed strange. It seemed like it was focusing on not the right thing. So I tried to move, and it turns out you can move incredibly, incredibly slowly. 
then you appeared Kamari. As, as Yuna you said you were looking espouses incredible Remember? amounts of information. At first, I See, she's so sitting there talking to the sphere. We're not the sphere right now. Also, we don't have the, the sphere person you are filtered on. <laughs> that that blue to to that children. makes everything look awful, even though we're well, well, I well into the future. You said and we you have that type of recording technology, well but it's kind of garbage. I mean, it's holograms, it I guess, technically. Of a man facing death. But it just looks bad. Looks like Star I Wars hologram bad. I cried then, because that, that's a pretty picture, I guess. I my father was dead. It's not, it's not the worst. We can actually go uh, visit that thing behind her, Just that like broken me. down pillar thing. There's actually a, a chest on there. You can, uh, once I you get the airship, there's a there's a coordinate the to take you, you there. When I don't think the item you go. get is especially useful, but me, there is something the there, and you can visit it. I held on to you crying, don't go, don't so go. just and fun listen, fact, I guess. You stayed. I know I'm talking over Yuna, but I mean, I could just Thank not you. commentate this this part of the episode, and you could just listen to her, Thank but so would that be more fun? She's not saying anything of value. And I've always liked your broken horn. This is this is her like, not will, like a, but it's kind of she she was she wanted us to I'll see this after she was dead, and she she say this is how I feel about all of you. Well, she said it, like, really early on into our journey. Like, this was after the second Aeon. This was before we got, even got Ixion. So I don't, know, I don't know how she already had... Like, she knew she knew Lulu and Waka and Kamari for a long time, but she didn't know us. She didn't know Oran. We didn't have Riku at this point, I'm pretty sure. Or did we just... No. No, we wouldn't have had Riku at this point. So she she did this way too early. She should she didn't even get to say anything about Riku. What else? <laughs> I love watching you play Blitzball. I also like watching Waka play Blitzball because he's pretty good. I even love it when you scold me. He's very useful and very cheap. When you when you eventually sign him, if you want to, to your Blitzball team, he costs one gil per game, whereas like a lot of the free agents cost like 200, 300 per game. So, it's uh, it, it gets expensive. I mean, you win a lot of stuff too. But if you just want to play like exhibition games, it it costs money to play blitzball. I'm glad. I'm glad that, I'm glad that you've never once said Titus's name in this entire game, and neither has anyone else because they decided to let you name him, which is just a poor decision all around, really. So, so this is what it feels like. It's a much more wonderful feeling. Is that a trend in Final Fantasy games? Like, I, the text-based ones, I'm pretty sure. But, like, the, the other ones, like, I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy VII, it, you, it's just Cloud, right? Like, I've not played it. I'm pretty sure it's just Cloud. I don't think you get to rename him. Or maybe you can, because that one wasn't voice acted either. This is the first voice acted one. Could you rename your characters in the other ones? I don't remember doing it in six. And that's the earliest one I've played. When I, think about us never being together I don't remember ever doing it in six, though. Maybe you can, and I just didn't, because I, I don't generally do that. Like, I don't even do that in Pokemon. I don't even name my Pokemon. So it just kind of, it, it doesn't even register that that's a, an option. But it's really apparent in voice acted games when they, like, re will refuse to say your name just in case you changed it to something. I don't like it. Can you still change your name in the Zelda, like the newer Zelda games? Again, haven't haven't played those either. Is there anything in here? No, it's just a random random crevice there. Sure, okay. That's cool. Uh, there are no fiends here. I'm pretty sure. So we just get to. I don't know why it doesn't just cut scene us past this point. Like we could have been listening to that and walking and saved us a little bit of time and I, I, they just wanted to show us all of this destruction which is it's a lot of destruction i'll grant you and it looks pretty cool but I, I don't know i don't know if it's worth it oh man remember this area i bet you don't it's the place from the very very start of the video game remember this 
This is like the opening opening shot of the game. They play a really, really cool song called Two's Anarchin. It's the only song in the game I know, so, you know. Because I really, really like it. Uh, my sister even learned to play it on piano. Because she also really likes this video game. Or at least did. I don't know if she still does. I assume she does. I have to ask her. Or if she's watching this, leave a comment down below. Ha ha ha. That's how you get them. This is when Titus was like, this is my story. So yeah, we're, we're in the we're in the ruins of of where we thought we grew up, but also we didn't grow up. We were a dream the whole time. Very clever storytelling for 2001. I mean, it kind of makes his decision to, to keep go to, to still to still be going to, on this quest is it makes it like a self-sacrifice thing. It, it changes it from Yuna's self-sacrifice, which we're trying to prevent, to ours, which is almost assured. Like, even if Yuna succeeds, we still disappear. So, we we want to keep her alive as something to carry on our memory, at least. The other Guardians don't matter, though, for some reason. <laughs> this is the shot everyone uses to say they don't like HD Titus. Uh, I think I think he looks fine. Like, he is, it's different from the original, certainly. Like just even like shape-wise, I think it's it's different a little bit, but it's it looks fine. Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. I mean, it may be, but but also it may not be. Hmm. I mean, you know, there's a sequel, so at least someone survives. If and when I play that sequel, we're going to have a good time. That one I'll do in live. I'll do it live. Hey, there was more, right? That that battle system's different yeah, too. Like, like it's active and uh, more involved. Which I might actually work better for live commentary. I think that we should stop. Maybe for now. That's one way to put it. I think we should stop maybe for now. <laughs> And then some amount of time passed. It's now nighttime instead of dusk. Now we're headed out. We're ready to go. Let's go. Let's go indeed. To Xanar can we go. Get it? Because it's the song name. Haha, <laughs> Teehee. What if we used a different sword? What if that wasn't the sword we used? Would he still put that sword there? I mean, that's the cannon sword, but we're not going to use that for the like end of the game. Okay, we'll see you next time.